you are welcome to another edition of our moment of grace and i pray that the lord will continue to bless you as you continue to listen to us in the mighty name of jesus christ uh, according to our topic it's a moment of grace my name is pastor Folabi Adiyeye from uh, world church evangelical ministry and nigeria chapter uh, previously i've shared with us uh, concerning the grace of God, the appearing of the grace of God to us, according to Titus chapter 2, verse 11, it says that the grace of God has appeared to all men, teaching us to embrace the truth. And I also, last week, we discussed on the grace, be on beholding the grace. That another way by which we can experience the grace of God in a great way is by beholding it. As you behold it, you because whatever you behold, you become. And we look at uh, many scripture, uh, particularly the book of John, chapter one, verse fourteen, which says that uh, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we behold His glory as the only begotten. Son of God, full of grace and truth. Uh, today, uh, what we are going to be sharing or looking into is grace that brought salvation. Grace that brought salvation. So the part of grace that brought us salvation. And if you look at the scripture in, uh, in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, I'm going to read the scripture for today. It's taken from a uh, Ephesians chapter 2 from verses uh, 4 uh, precisely I'm going to look at it from verse 4 he said but God who is rich in mercy for his great love we are with he love us even when we were dead in sin had quickened us together with Christ by grace ye are saved then verse he says, and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might shield the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. Then verse 8 says, which we are going to stop, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that's not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Glory be to God in the highest. The grace of God is the gift of God. As the scripture has said, it's the gift of God to us to save us. To save us. Uh, just as you have heard that the scripture says that for all our sin and we are fall short of the glory of God. But by the grace of God through his son Jesus Christ, we have become saved. God has saved us through his grace. And that is exactly what we are looking into. So there is no way we will have been saved if, if not for the grace of God. It was the grace through his son. You know, I told us last week that Jesus is the grace of God that appeared to us. Jesus is the grace of God that appeared to us, that God brought to us. And if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, uh, I cannot uh, I cannot assure you of having the grace of God because that is where it begins. You must have Jesus in your life. That is the beginning of the of you experiencing the grace of God upon your life. And when you receive Jesus, then the, that is the beginning of grace. The grace has come to you, and grace has come to abide with you. And and what will happen? to you is that you become safe you become safe and you see salvation is in stages is in levels there is a salvation of your soul which is the first the and the primary thing that will happen to you and other things are deliverance you be, you become delivered from every forces that surround you every situation that are not palatable to your life and another thing is that you become say you become delivered from sickness from all kind of all sort of things affliction oppression 
and so on and so forth. So, and I declare to your life today, as you are hearing this word, as you begin to open your heart to receive Jesus to your life, may that grace begin to give you salvation of your soul. May that grace begin to deliver you from whatever oppression, whatever uh, stagnation that you might have found yourself, whatever affliction that has come upon you, may you begin to find grace to be delivered, to be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. May you begin to receive that grace now to begin to excel in every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like I told you, the salvation of our soul is very, very paramount. And that is what the grace of God has given to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And don't forget, the Bible says you were saved by grace through faith. Through faith. So that, that means there is a need for you to believe. You have to believe. You have to have faith in your heart. And the Bible says faith covered by hearing and hearing the word of God. And I believe as you are hearing this word, God is giving you faith in your heart to be able to accept the grace of God for your deliverance, for your prosperity, for your increase, for your liberation in the name of Jesus Christ. And whatever situation that may be surrounding your life, that may be, that may be surrounding your life presently, that looks so impossible, may the grace of God begin to make it possible. Because the Bible says, with man, it might be impossible, but with God, all things are possible. That is another thing that grace can do for you. It makes all things possible. What looks so impossible to man becomes possible when you receive the grace. And I pray for you today that you receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And may you begin to advance in every area of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, what has not been working before, I speak to it right now to begin to walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is this your child? Is it the issue with your marriage? Is it the issue with your family? Or with your extended member of your household? May they begin to find grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that man, that your sibling you have been praying for, that he may be saved. I pray that, the, that, the, that, the, that his eyes will be opened, that the grace of God will begin to walk over his life and will begin to have access to the salvation of his soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and whatever that seems impossible or difficult in your life, receive grace now for possibility in every area. Is it your business? I speak to that business by the grace of God that that business begin to work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for listening today and may you remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and your household in Jesus name. Amen.